Ionic Equations in Solubility Reactions. How to deal with problems like this. When solutions of aluminum chloride and silver nitrate are mixed, a precipitate is produced. Determine the formula of the precipitate and write the total and net ionic equations for the reaction. The first thing to recognize is that this type of problem involves a double replacement reaction, like we had to write for the last lab in the fall. So the reactants and products are both ionic substances. We can, therefore, use the table of ions to find out what the formulas and charges of the ions are. In this case, aluminum chloride is made of aluminum ions, whose formula is Al3+, and chloride ions, whose formula is Cl-. And silver nitrate is made of silver ions, with the formula Ag+, and nitrate ions, with the formula NO3-. It is probably a good idea to write down the ions for future reference, since we know that they are not going to change in a double replacement reaction. One way to proceed from here is to write and balance the double replacement reaction. We have done this and it is not hard to do. Start with the reactants. The formula of the aluminum chloride is AlCl3 and the formula of the silver nitrate is AgNO3. And both substances are in solution. Notice that it says this in the problem. Next, we need to figure out the formulas of the products. Remember that in a double replacement reaction, the ions switch partners. So the aluminum goes with the nitrate, and the silver goes with the chloride. This means one of the products is ALNO3, parentheses 3, and the other is AgCl. Then we need to balance the reaction and find the states of the products using the solubility table. If you are not clear on how to do this, there is another video that shows you how to use the table. This is the molecular equation. Next, we need to break the compounds in the molecular equation into their ions if they are in solution. We need to be careful to keep things balanced by using the coefficients and the subscripts in the right way. AlCl3 will break up into one Al3 plus ion and three Cl minus ions. And three AgNO3 will break up into three Ag plus ions and three NO3 minus ions. The AlNO3-3 will break up into one Al3 plus ion and three NO3 minus ions. The three AgCl will not break up because it is a solid. This is a total ionic equation. To go from the total ionic equation to the net ionic equation, we need to eliminate the spectator ions. Remember that spectator ions are ions that are the same in the reactants and products in three ways. One, they have the same formula, the same subscripts. Two, they have the same charge. And three, they have the same state. The Al3 plus ions are the same, and there is one of each, so they completely cancel. And the NO3 minus ions are the same, and have the same amount, so they cancel out as well. This leaves us with 3 Cl minus plus 3 Ag plus gives 3 Ag Cl solid but each of the coefficients is a 3, so those can cancel out. 
which leaves us with the net ionic equation.